wanted to show you how I use my background in product management to dictate the way I task manage my own life, uh, both my personal tasks and my tasks related to my business, Unreal Collective. And it's all done, really, in Trello. So I've created a board here in Trello as an example of how I utilize it uh, for Unreal Collective and the rest of my professional work uh, to manage my day, day in and day out. And so what you'll see here, uh, I have the name of the board up here in the top left, Unreal Collective PM for product management. I have a, a list on the far left that's called Today. I have three lists in the middle here that have their own names, working groups, which are a part of Unreal Collective, webinars, and my email list. And then I also have a column called Done on the far right. So I would recommend for you, use a Today and a Done column. Uh, but also these three columns here in the middle, those can be any number of columns uh, that are related to your work and your business or your project. I divided them up into three buckets because I see these as three distinct aspects, three distinct projects or buckets all relating to my, my work with Unreal Collective. So you may have, you may have your own buckets. You may have uh, something for an individual event uh, or a, a community organization you're a part of. This is kind of however you want to divide it up. But I do it on a sort of project by project basis. They each get their own column. From here, I divide up all the things that I need to get done for that bucket, that aspect of my work, into their own cards. These small little bite-sized items that can be picked off one by one by one. So for example, follow up on action items as a part of my working groups. At the end of our calls every week, the members of Unreal Collective identify action items to complete for the following week and before that week is up I follow up with the members and see how they're doing so for this card there's a lot I can do in Trello to make this more robust and so one thing I do is I will add a label um, for each of these cards and so let's say that for working groups I want to use the green color and I'll call this again working groups to coordinate it so I'll add a label to this card I will also add a due date let's say that this is due uh, on Monday our calls are on Tuesday so I'll have that due on Monday and I can uh, add members if I had members but usually that's about the extent to what I do on these cards so now I have a label I have a due date I'm going to add that same label to every card in this list and when I create a new card I will add that label as well. Like if I had a to-do card that said follow up with Andy, I could add that label right away. Now it's important to add due dates to these cards so that you're creating sort of a contract with yourself on when you're going to get this ticket done. This is so you can know personally am I ahead of schedule, am I behind schedule. And so let's say that this is due, oops, let's say this is due today. Actually, go back here. This card is due today. This card is due tomorrow, etc. And you can see that the color of that due date changes based on how close it is to being due. If it's the day it's due or past due, it becomes a red color. If it's coming up, it becomes yellow. Otherwise, it stays just clear like this. So real quickly, I'll make a label for webinars. I'll make a label for email list. Okay, so I'll give this webinar a label. And it could be for something like promote the event. If I'm promoting a webinar, it could be that I promote it via my email list. So I'll actually give it two labels to say this applies to two different categories. So why add a label if they're all in one list anyway? Well, that's because let's say that there's also this event page is going to be due today and write today's email is due today. I know that I have three tasks that are due today and so every day when I look at my uh, 
my items that are coming up to do, I'll move them from their bucket over to the today column. So every morning or every evening the night before, I'll move my tickets around to say these things are due, they're coming up in today. And really day in and day out, what I focus on is just this far left column and saying these are the three to five things that I need to get done today based upon the deadlines that I've already made. And once they're completed, I move them from today over to done. And that just gives me kind of a visual look of which things are done. Um, it's nice to check things off as the day goes on. Uh, and you just kind of get that feeling. So let's say I finished all of today's items. Now coming up tomorrow, I've got this card. Maybe promoting the event is going to be due tomorrow as well. So this is the evening of the day. I'm going to move this over here. The great thing about any of these cards, though, you can add a description of these things. Say, um, you know, create an event bright, share on Facebook, and the description and remember what that is. You can attach files. Um, let's see, whatever this document is. You can attach a file and it just goes right there um, and becomes a part of it. And you can open that up. You can update your progress and say, share it on Facebook. 830 just as a, a marker you can add descriptions to all these things you can even make a checklist to say okay promoting the event means that I want to promote it on Facebook Instagram Twitter LinkedIn email list and then as time goes by I can come in and kind of check that off right now it shows that I have zero of five of the promotional pieces done I can go in and say, okay, I shared on Facebook, I shared on Instagram, and I shared on Twitter. This shows you're 60% done with this task. I can't move it out of today yet because I'm still actively doing it, but it is 60% done. Once it's 100% done, I can move it over to done, and at any point in time, I can search for that and say promote, and it brings up these tickets right away, and I can find that. Because eventually, this column will get really long and unwieldy and you'll want to just go through here and archive this list, or archive all cards in this list, rather. And those cards are still searchable. You can find anything that you attach to it um, or not. So there's a lot of benefits to this method. I'll leave most of them to the PDF, but one major thing is you'll start to find that some of these tickets may end up hanging around. Maybe rewrite, rewrite on onboarding template, even if I put a due date on it of tomorrow and I have it in here, it could get to be several days past tomorrow and if this wasn't truly important uh, and I didn't take care of it, you can see, okay, this card's hanging around, this task is hanging around, is it really necessary? Do I need to do it? Um, and so that's sometimes a way just to declutter your mind and say, I'm actually not going to do that. That's not necessary. I've proven it's not necessary by not doing it. Another list that I like to add over on the far right from done is just ideas. And so Sometimes I'll have a card like um, run an all day summit with members of Unreal Collective. That's just an idea. I don't know if I'll action that, but it gives me a place to write it down or remember it and see it. And so it primes my mind every day to say, oh yeah, I forgot about this idea. And maybe that idea evolves as time goes on because I really truly operate off of this Trello board all the time. I'll show you some screenshots in the PDF of the mobile app for Trello as well. It's beautiful, it's highly functional, and it works great. So that's the basic overview of how I utilize Trello to uh, task manage my own life. You know, when I was a product manager, these groups or these buckets were things like sales, marketing, uh, design, engineering, and I would move them over in today. Um, but now you can really use that framework for any aspect of your life. You can even say, you can have a list for personal tasks. You can have a list for physical activity, really any bucket you want. But then as you're looking at today, you see very quickly what kind of task that is when it's due. You can focus on this column over here, move it over to done when you're done, and just take cards off the list. As I work through my day and I realize more tasks that need to get done, you can very, very quickly just add a card, maybe over here, and say uh, create design graphic 
And then whether you do that quickly on the go on mobile or not, you can come back here when you have a little bit more time to sit down, add the label, add a due date, and get this done by next Monday, and, and move from there. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, more information available in the PDF.